I'm Kristen Stehauer, Academic Vice President and Provost at Northwood University, Midlands University, and we're delighted to welcome you to the first in a series of monthly programs on news from Northwood University. We'll be covering topics like the success of our students, we'll have our faculty discussing current economic issues, and we'll also share with you news and discussions about the Northwood idea, the philosophy that's so near and dear to all of our hearts. Well, also, today we'll be sharing with you our new digital platform called True North, which is a digital platform connecting us across the globe with like-minded individuals and organizations. In a way, it's how we're a free market connector. But first, we're just so pleased to welcome one of our students, DeLorean Ishman, to share with us and start off this segment on our successes in international and national competitions. DeLorean, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. We are yes, so happy no to see no you. Yeah. So you're a junior and going into your senior year, and you've been on our mock trial team. Could you tell us a little bit about this competitive season and the successes you and the team have had? Yeah, so uh, we've had a great year so far. Um, so far, we uh, we competed actually at Lancaster, Pennsylvania when we made it to the national championship. It was uh, April 8th through the 10th, and it was actually a very surprising year for us to make it that far since we had four freshmen on the team, and we only had about three vets. So for us to have such a young team and make it that far, it was very just really just a big shock. So it's really, it's really kind of exciting for next year going into my senior year where I, I really think we might actually place top 10 because we finished three points shy this year. So you were in the top 20 nationally to even get there, weren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We actually already ranked top 20 nationally because we had great names like Chris Grant and Simbo Lawrence and Parker Parker Lurchenboat just come through the ranks and already kind of over the last five years keep us in that consistent rank of top 20. So it's kind of like a yearly ranking though going on. Yeah, and you competed against some pretty impressive teams as well, didn't you? Yeah, uh, we actually hit Rhodes. And then on top of that, we hit Duke. We took two off Duke. And then we ran into Ohio State. Um, sadly, we uh, lost that one two to one. And then ran into Michigan State, another local hero, and uh, we actually swept them. So I was pretty happy about that. Go Blue. Well, great. And go Timberwolves, exactly. Yeah, go Timberwolves. yeah, so I know I'm curious, and I'm sure our viewers are as well. What's it like being in a mock trial competition? What happens? Um, it's really great. When I actually like to describe it, I like to kind of put it together as like law and order, but just a court form. It's kind of a prosecution and defense. You got two people presenting the case. And on my end, I play a witness, and I have an attorney like Austin Wolf or uh, Luke or Baker, Lucas Baker, who's actually on the esports side of it. And and I have them directing me, and we're basically playing like a character. I, I like to say I do my best Denzel Washington impression. And uh, it's us really trying to break through a barrier of an anxiety. We're, we're presenting our, our character and our best our best face in front of attorneys and real judges. And I feel like when you're doing that type of thing, you're really breaking through communication barriers, and it really makes you a lot more comfortable and a lot more business ready for the real world. Well, we're absolutely so proud of you. And that all happens in a courtroom too, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually always in a courtroom room setting we go to a lot of campuses a lot of college campuses around the nation and really they try to get uh, get the hometown uh, courtroom if they're able to get access to it we're able to compete with it but sadly with COVID this year we did a lot of courtrooms virtually on zoom and that was kind of tough on that end but uh, luckily for the national they were able to get the courtrooms and we had access to that so that was pretty fun. So, yeah. so your coach is an American Mock Trial Association Hall of Famer, DeLois Leapart. Could you describe her in one word? Oh my God, uh, legendary. Uh, like, man, just being around DeLois, like having having somebody like on campus like Professor Leapart is such a big thing to me, especially, I mean, honestly being black and having somebody like that really just stand out and shine and be such a strong face for us and be like really a plateau, not only at Northwood, but in AMTA because she's in the Hall of Fame of AMTA. And, it's just legendary being around her because she's taught me a lot, shown me a lot, and I'm just actually so grateful that I have one more year with her, honestly. Well, so, yeah. we are too, and uh, it sounds like you're on your way to being legendary yourself, DeLorean. <laughs> thank you so much thank for you. joining us today. Well, to continue our success on the academic competitions, I'm really pleased to welcome my colleague, Justin Marshall, who's the Vice President of Advancement at Northwood University, and he's going to share a bit with us about DECA and also eSports successes that we've had in the past year. Could you tell us a little bit about DECA and what that is? Absolutely, and thank you, Dr. Stehauer, for having me join the program. 
and DeLorean, congratulations. Uh, all Thank the success you. that you've had and the success of your teammates and, and the mock trial alumni that you brought up. Yes, yes. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great program. And DECA, similarly, yeah. has been excellent. I mean, our students have done a phenomenal job with this program. And just for the viewers who don't understand what DECA might be, it is a collegiate and high school program that develops emerging leaders, entrepreneurs who want careers in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. And then to go beyond that to give some practical experience, they host tournaments for students from throughout the world to compete with one another and for our young men and women to represent Northwood University and to do so to put their practices and their skills into the competition and represent us so well. That's so important to get that hands-on experience. It is. And our team just came back from some success at the international competition. Could you share a bit about that? They've, they've been phenomenal. They just got back from their international competition held this month in April, and they had 10 students have a top 10 finish. But here's the best part. We had one young lady who took first in the international competition and was the only student in the entire state of Michigan to take first place at this international competition. So we are very proud of the team and very proud of her. Yeah, that speaks to the success of the program and the team and our Northwood students, really. They are ready to compete on the global stage. So the competition is intense. Could you tell us a bit about the other kinds of schools that compete in this? <laughs> competition is intense. Um, just like with Mock Child, they're, they're competing against the best of the best. And Northwood University is a intimate, intentional university. We are dedicated to providing our students with opportunity and hands-on learning opportunities. And we're competing against major public universities who are publicly funded and likely have more resources than we do here in Midland. But our students are competing and they're winning. They're not just competing, they're winning. And I think that's a testament not only to their character, but the time that they're taking to prepare their own personal commitment to the program. And I think it speaks a lot about the faculty in our classroom who are helping to prepare our students on a daily basis. Definitely does. Well, it'd be great to shift gears now and talk about some successes in another arena, the eSports arena. A very exciting program, and thank you again, Dr. Stehauer. Thank you. And so it is a privilege for me to be able to welcome our Varsity Esports head coach, Cody Elson. Cody, thank welcome. you for having me. I'm excited, uh, Justin and Dr. Stehauer. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to have you. So here's a question for you. I think there are a lot of viewers out there who probably are unfamiliar with esports. It's shrouded in a bit of mystery. So could you uh, tell our viewers exactly what esports is? Yeah, so esports is uh, competitive gaming at the highest level. Um, you got to think of it as basically like a, a digital playing field, right? Um, you know, we compete against other colleges around the country and also just, uh, you know, outside of college competition, semi-professional as well. Um, but it's two teams working together towards an objective. Um, just like a traditional sport in a lot of a lot of aspects other than the physicality but um, it's extremely competitive and uh, we have a lot of fun with it sounds great it's an exciting program and I know that the pandemic has created some opportunities for eSports but eSports is here to stay and everything that I'm reading is the eSports industry is continuing to grow so that must mean you have a really exciting team that you coach every year so I'm just curious if you if you could sum up in one word um, your season for esports, what would that word be? Uh, it's definitely got to be the word achievement. Um, we have competed in over 30 different leagues and competitions. We've came away with uh, 11 different uh, major titles, and you know, three national championships, and one North American championship recently in uh, Rocket League. So you've won regional championships. You've got national championships. I think multiple national championships now. You've been invited to the World Championships, which is going to occur in June in Dallas. So. Are professional organizations and professional teams taking notice of our students? Yeah, absolutely. We actually uh, just had our first ever major signing, uh, Landon McGee um, from Jupiter, Florida, who's a junior at Northwood, just got signed by uh, the London Spitfire. So he actually uh, recently signed the contract and is now in London competing with them. Um, 
It's a great young man, and we're, we're happy our students are starting to get these opportunities with these major franchise leagues. Um, but the cool thing is he's actually going to continue his degree uh, through our ADP program while competing professionally. So excited that he's going to stick through it through his uh, last year. Well, that's fantastic that mm -hmm. Northwood has the flexibility to take a student from the traditional program and support them on their professional dream with our online program. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to Landon, first of all. I mean, Landon's a great success story for your eSports program, but you have a whole team, a whole roster that's doing phenomenal things. And I'd just like to end with saying congratulations to you, Cody. You've created a phenomenal program, and you're making Northwood and Midland very, very proud. Thank you, Justin. And uh, a big thanks to Northwood for supporting us on this. Uh, it's been a great journey, and we're going to continue to make the school proud. Great. Well, thank you, Cody. And with that, we'll take a brief break. And when we come back, Dr. Stehauer will interview two of our esteemed colleagues and share some new Northwood initiatives with all of you. Please. I don't know, honey. It's kind of late. You're late. Mommy's going to be a few minutes late today. Too late. Too late. late. No, it's not too late. I can send over the revised contract in the morning. Look forward to doing this. You know what? Welcome back. We are delighted to be sharing with you some initiatives that we have at Northwood University to expand our global reach with the Northwood idea, our philosophy that's near and dear to our hearts. And joining me are Dale Matchek, the department chair and econo economics of our economics faculty, and also Dr. Mamiko Reeves, and they're both going to share with us some initiatives that are expanding our reach. And you're going to be telling us about a uh, online course that reaches across the globe. Yes, this is a very important initiative for us because it is centered on the Northwood idea. And as you know, the Northwood idea is what separates us from uh, other universities. It's the, uh, the thing that makes us America's free enterprise university. Um, uh, we emphasize the uh, importance of business, uh, hard work, thrift, uh, moral law, free enterprise. Uh, limited government, um, and that will be the theme for this new course. Um, we're very fortunate to receive uh, generous support for the course. Uh, in particular, um, Don Gottwald, who was a Northwood alum from the class of 1988, uh, gave us a generous donation. Uh, in addition, we had support from the Oakley Family Trust, and uh, that's enabled us to work with a fantastic uh, marketing team. They're producing a series of videos over the next four years that we're going to be uploading. Uh, and uh, the first one actually is available now. Um, but we're very excited about it. And uh, this is the way for the uh, general public to hear and to learn about what our students are learning about the Northwood idea. Yeah, and you're starring in that first one. What's the topic <laughs> of that first course? So like the first one is called A Brief History of Progress. And uh, it's... It features the short video. Uh, it's got uh, some related readings, uh, a quiz that students can take afterwards and uh, test their knowledge. And uh, when they're finished, they will get a certificate from Northwood University. Well, I know that as you and the faculty members who worked on this, really it was very important to make sure that it was very interactive and engaging and brought these concepts to life and made them more personal. Yeah, so it's been uh, it's been kind of fun. It's a new way of doing what we normally do in the classroom, uh, bringing some more technology into it and reaching a, a larger audience. So that has been fun. Um, as I said, over the next four years, uh, we're going to be bringing out more and more of these videos. Um, again, thanks to the generous support of our donors, the classes are free. Um, so students can register now. Yeah, and how do you enroll? Um, uh, you can go to truenorthideas.org. Um, there should be some prompts on there. And uh, if you follow the prompts, students can register and uh, start taking the course. 
Well, thank you for investing your time in making sure that this is a really great offering, and we hope that many of our viewers will take advantage of this opportunity and uh, get engaged on, in this series. And I'd like to uh, do a formal introduction of my colleague, Dr. Mamiko Reeves, who serves as our academic, our assistant vice president and dean for international programs. And you're leading our free market connector initiative. And one of those important assets that we're developing is the True North digital content. Could you share with us what sure. that's about? Sure, I'd be happy to, Dr. Sayawa. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm very excited to be able to um, explain what this new venture is for Northern University to the viewers. And so True North is a digital platform that Northern University had created. The first idea was to really connect the students and faculty members and uh, staff to uh, uh, world think tanks and, and uh, thought leaders, but we kind of became more than that. So not only of our, our, our university, but it's to uh, create a unique platform, digital platform, to connect uh, world leaders, uh, think tanks, and uh, thought leaders, and businesses, and uh, media, and influencers to be able to uh, really go to the website to be able to learn, share ideas, and exchange of ideas. So it's a very excited, uh, exciting endeavor, and the website uh, just, uh, I know Dale had already referenced it, it's truenorthideas.org. That's wonderful. It really sounds like a hub of content and connection for like-minded individuals and organizations. Yes. Absolutely. What kind of content is on that site then? So we uh, try to house a variety of content, including like essays, blogs, or articles, research, uh, and videos uh, done by some of the uh, experts, or it could be a faculty members, uh, media professionals. So it, it is a collection of very various ideas where you can uh, resource a lot of uh, free market uh, related content. And what is Northwood University seeking to achieve with this initiative? Yeah, that's a really good question. So uh, like we talked about, so this initial idea was to uh, serve Northwood University to serve as a connector for these uh, free market uh, think tanks and I ideas, but um, we we, the foundation of this idea is based on the Northwood idea that we have been talking about. So Northwood idea focuses on business education, innovation, free enterprise philosophies, and those are very important to us. So this, this digital platform also kind of reflects that, and we try to promote the idea a uh, free society would uh, flourish uh, with uh, limited government interference. And we also promote exchange of ideas by prof uh, through the professionals. And we um, uh, also uh, generate the uh, more opportunity for students to um, get internship and employment. Uh, and the final thing that I wanted to also mention is that we also believe in the philosophy where um, the best uh, advancement for humankind is to to really focus on entrepreneurship and private business and people can achieve best when those uh, activities are encouraged. We talk about making a difference at Northwood University and it does sound like that uh, platform, our new digital platform, True North Ideas, will be making that kind of difference in the world. Yes, so thank we're very you. excited. Thank you, Dr. Reeves, and thank you, Dr. Matchuk. That's it for today. We can, uh, we hope that you'll be joining us next time as we share more news from Midlands University and we hope that you've enjoyed the news from Northwood University about our national and international successes and reach and also how we're changing our community and making our community here in the Great Lakes Bay region a stronger place. Join us again next time.